before landing in Liberia, Costa Rica, I looked on YouTube for a video to help me get from Liberia Airport to La Fortuna in the cheapest, most adventurous way possible by bus. I couldn't find any, so here's a video about that. I told you I was gonna take the bus from Liberia Airport to Hotel Arenal Lodge. Usually there's videos showing how to get to places in Costa Rica, commonly traveled ways. And I didn't see one for Liberia Airport to Arenal. This is actually more of a pain in the ass than I thought. So see, I'm walking on the service road to the airport. Uh, when I asked the airport attendants, the ones in uniforms, said, it's a really long walk. Why are you gonna do that? I was like, cause I enjoy it. That's part of the adventure. So here I am walking along this. So I'm gonna go by bus. I gotta change buses three times on the name of adventure. All right, so I did get kind of nervous there because the first leg of the journey is says that it's for um central but it's, it's it's like easy to find it's really not oh, if that was my bus there that might have been i just went and checked up with the nice people at avis and they said that every 20 minutes a bus comes to this stop and it goes to central so i'm going there hopefully i haven't missed it but this looks promising here comes a bus It's really good to be in Costa Rica. Damn, it's good to be here. I was such a younger man when I came here last. I didn't know shit, I still don't. This is where they let me off at from the bus that was right, that came right by the airport that I walked like a mile to. And around this corner is the actual bus stop for Cañas. I gotta go here. The website I use doesn't say shit about having to walk. Nonetheless, I'm going to bus stop for Cañas. I don't really know where it is. Oh, there it is. Right there. See? Reiterating here, I had to walk to get from the bus that left me off at Liberia Centro to the bus to Cañas. Here's the ride. In contrast to the directions I found on the internet, the bus from Liberia Centro to Cañas let off right there, and the bus from Cañas to Teleron was right next to it, about 15 minutes later. Nice bus stop. Pretty sure I got off way too early. That last bus, it got to the central central street, not really the El Centro de Tilleran, which is the city I'm in now. The cadence of my voice, my tone is not really that enthusiastic right now. I'm trying to find my way to this bus stop. I think I got off too early. I do that sometimes when I'm traveling. I think I'm gonna miss my stop, so I ended up getting off too early nonetheless bus there's this girl who spoke english and she i asked her is this the only bus stop in the city and she said yes i think she was, didn't know what i was talking about nonetheless here i go in costa rica you see stray dogs a lot there's no animal control there wasn't any animal control here you can see these near disasters where people almost hit dogs with their cars all the time makes you really nervous other than that though, there's not many times in a normal day where your blood pressure goes up automatically. One of the many things to love about Costa Rica. I'm trying to get from Tilleron to La Fortuna. But I've been walking around this town, Tilleron. It's really peaceful, it's really nice. And it's like at really high elevation. And the buses to Tilleron from, to La Fortuna from Tilleron only leave three times a day. And three times are like morning, noon, and like mid-afternoon. 
So there's a beautiful sunset. Here in the afternoon, you're gonna have to take your taxi to La Fortuna. Whip is gonna cost $100. So I'm gonna do, but now I know, lesson learned. All right, I made it safe and sound to the Hotel Lodge RNL. That is the person who made all this possible. <laughs> take that to the extent of forever. It costs $100 to take a cab from Tilleron to RNL. I've noticed in myself, and I'm sure other people do this too, when I go travel to a foreign country, there's always a little bit of apprehension. I sometimes find myself thinking that other people that are around or are nearby that see me on the street trying to get from place to place, maybe see me on the bus, are going to take some special interest in me because I'm a foreigner. And then might maybe they'll think, well, I could take advantage of him. And that may be true in other parts of Costa Rica. That may be true in other parts of the world. But generally speaking, most of the time when we're immersed in international cultures, at least the ones that I've been immersed in, and I haven't gone to Yemen or Syria or places like that, but most of the time, people that I interact with when I'm immersed in another culture, taking, say, a bus that uh, most of the other people that are on are just going to work or coming home, most of the time, those people don't give a shit that I'm there. And this is actually more refreshing than it might sound. I am just traveling, and they're going about their daily lives, and whether I'm there or not, they don't care. It is more indicative, I think, of being immersed in a different culture, where People aren't living in Costa Rica or another country waiting for me to get there so they can observe this foreigner and see if that they can take special advantage of them. I hope that you have now a visual representation of what it looks like to get from Liberia Airport to Arnal, but that's how you get there by bus. And keep in mind that I missed the last bus from Tilleron to La Fortuna. That is the way to go, minus the last bus that I missed from Tilleron to La Fortuna. Thanks for watching.